guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I wanted to do a challenge video so as you guys can see I have no makeup on right now and the reason why is because I'm going to be trying to follow a beauty gurus makeup tutorial so I'm so excited about this video because one I think it's hilarious to watch and then also because watching beauty gurus doing their makeup and doing it at the same time is more it's kind of the way that I learned how to do makeup I would sit there at night playing with my makeup and watching the tutorial and whenever I'm doing my makeup for anything I usually have some kind of video or tutorial or something playing so I thought this would be such a fun video and today I'm going to be following along with I Love Sarai which is one of my favorite beauty gurus so I wanted to pick someone who I think has a very high high expertise like a high expert level personally I think Nikki Tutorials is one of the most challenging people to follow along with but another person who I find to be pretty challenging to follow along with is I Love Sarai. Her makeup is always so flawless, so on point. It's dramatic, but at the same time, like, it just looks natural. I don't know how to explain it. But her makeup is always on point, so I'm so excited to be doing this. So I'm going to be following along on my phone. So this is the Smoky Fierce Winged Liner. So I'm going to go ahead and watch it. If you guys love what you are seeing on my face and you want to see how to recreate this look, please continue watching. All right. All right. So for this eye makeup look, we're going to start off with the base, you guys. Okay. So she already has her eyebrows done. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. Her eyebrows are pretty intense. So I'm assuming she uses dip brow. It doesn't say in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. So I'll be right back with my brows. Alrighty, so the brows are on. Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden, my absolute favorite. You guys know I just, this is a step one. I'm gonna apply this all over the lid. So I don't have the Urban Decay Eden Primer Potion, but I do have the anti-aging, age, aging, anti-aging version. And it looks like she takes a brush to blend out her primer. So I think it's because it's white that she does that. I would use Mac Soft Ochre Paint Pot, but since she's using Urban Decay, I guess I'll use Urban Decay. She's just doing windshield wiper motions, I think. All right, so starting off with my Cheeky Deaky palette, we're gonna go in with the shade Museum. I'm using my non-touch palette because it's clean. We're gonna go in with these three shades right here, starting off with Freckles in my crease. And for this, I am taking- So I do have that palette. Taking in this brush from Makeup Addiction and we're just going to go ahead and put this all over the crease of my eye kind of going up into the inner part but not necessarily all the way. All right so she took the shade Freckles which is this one right here. Wait. Looks like she did that and then she like went in circular motions and I'm using a MAC 224 because I don't have that brush that she has the Makeup Addiction brush. And then I'm going to grab this brush from Morphe. This is the um, M501 brush. It's like a favorite of mine because it's like that large taper brush. I'm going to go ahead and dust out a cloth and then just make sure I really buff the edges out. I have the Morphe M533, which is a pretty large brush. And she just kind of blends that out. Make sure everything is nice and seamless. And I'm going back in again with the Morphe, buffing it out. It's just kind of like, I look at this as like my beauty blender for my eye. It's going to just buff everything out and just make sure that everything looks nice and blended. It looks pretty blended. Wow, that blends it out like extremely. So then she goes back okay, into okay. the primer. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of carve out my crease a little bit. Okay. A very, very slight carve. Like literally. I'm only using so this with an applicator. Minimal. So you can't really, you're not going to probably be able to see what I do because it's very light I'm just gonna go ahead and buff this out so I guess I'm gonna blend mine out too I'm now gonna go in with the color distress which is this matte beige shade and then she went into the white shade here this is called distressed taking this in with that flat brush again it's just like an easy brush to work with I'm gonna go ahead and just pat it on the lid so she uses a flat brush so I'm gonna use this Mac brush I have no idea what number it is but she just packed it in I like to pull my eye out and really just tap it across the shadow not really she pulls her eye top like this and then puts it on 
And then now I'm just gonna grab Distressed again and add it to the inner part of the eye. Grabbing some of that Distressed color and putting it right in here. I always like to do this before I add any kind of color in there just to kind of even it out. So next I'm gonna go in with the color Noche. Noche. Right there. It's like a matte burgundy brown shade. I'm gonna take this in with a Smith uh, 230 brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this kind of over the shadow. It looks like she's taking like a pointed taper brush or something. She's taking the brown color called Noche, and then she just taps it on top right here. So it looks like she's doing. I'm not adding too much of this color because I am going to be going in with the darker one a little later. Um, but I just have to add a little bit of that color right in this section right here. Okay, so she like blends that in as well, and then blend, blend. And she went in circular motions, so I'm gonna go in circular motions. I'm gonna go in using Estee Lauder's Victoria Beckham Blackest Liquid Eyeliner. So I don't have that one, so I'm gonna use a cult favorite. This is the NYX or NYC Liquid Liner in black. So I'm gonna go ahead and just shoop, 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 my eyes, okay? Okay, so she starts off in the center of her eye. For this look, you are required to go more intense than normal you know like on a normal basis okay so she starts off in the center like close to my lash line but for this look I'm and then really starts blending it in above my huge okay so let's try to do that i never do this but and as you can see towards right here i'm starting to go just a little higher and higher pretty much right where the crease is at We'll go ahead and just start flicking and bringing it out. Okay, so she takes this really high. So then she went, and she brought this up really high. And then she just takes this and connects it. I don't think I've ever done my eyeliner this thick. I'm gonna go ahead and wait to let it dry and work on this eye, and then we're gonna come back and work on this one again. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the other eye then. She says she's gonna let this dry. Mine is, oh well, yeah, mine needs to dry a little bit more. So same thing on the other eye, starting over here in the center. So she pulls like this tight and then she does it, but the reason why I'm not doing that is because I have to hold my mirror in my hand because I don't have a desk in front of me. We're just gonna work with what we got, you know? So sharp, but it could be even sharper, which that's what's gonna happen next. Right. So now I'm gonna go in with the black eyeshadow and I'm gonna be adding this to the corner of the eyeliner. I don't have my carbon on me. I usually use carbon for this and we carbon. just got that. Stuff's everywhere. I don't Mac know what things are right now. So I'm gonna go in instead with this uh, palette from Kat Von D. This is the shade light palette. And I'm gonna go in with the black shade she has in here. It looks very similar to carbon. Um, so just grab a matte black. Um, you can grab a brown, but I would recommend a black if you're going to be using a black eyeliner. So now I'm going to go in with this flat brush. I just picked up some black shadow on there. And you could totally be messy on this part too. Okay, this I'm going to use this one. And she grabbed some of that black on there. Let's go ahead and just keep on patting on top of the liner. But lightly working up. Do not worry if it gets like over here. We're going to buff that out in a minute. So it's kind of like that and I just keep on patting it on top like like I said don't even worry about this it's all gonna be cleaned up and she got it like all over like even on top of the wing it's just all about adding that black and really smoking out that liner next I'm gonna go in with a wipe this, these ones are the Mac wipes I actually just went back to them all right so that's what it looks like and then she went ahead and took some wipes I don't have MAC wipes, so I do have my Garnier uh, Micellar Makeup Removing Towelettes. So let's see what she does here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a wipe, go ahead and get my nail, and then lightly just flick it up. Okay, so it looks like she cleans that off with her nail, but I don't have nails. So I'm going to take a tweezer instead. We're taking the tip of this tweezer. Closest thing to nails, I guess. And what she does is she just takes it. Ooh, yeah, 
yes good hack right here i'm gonna go ahead and smoke out this lash or this um one i'll be right back i'm gonna go in with benefit roller lash so then she took a uh, mascara she used the benefit roller lash but i don't have that mascara i know that one's like a plastic bristle i used to have it but i don't know what happened to it i'm using the tardis lash paint I'm gonna go in with my favorite lily lashes so i did attempt to just try she didn't do her lower lash it, lash line so i'm gonna go ahead and do mine so she took some of her favorite lashes they're called lily lashes i do not own lily lashes so what i'm going to use is my grand glamour eye lower lashes from vegas nay and she used a lash applicator let's try some other lashes on right now and as soon as i put them on i was like um i'll just go back to my my lily i'll just stick with it go ahead and popping these on i feel like i need to start skipping my lash part because i feel like i always <laughs> do the same lashes put any lash glue on hers well she didn't show herself putting lash glue so i'm using the kiss lash glue this is the brush on one we're gonna let these dry for a little bit and i'm using my lash applicators that i have And look like hers so let's go ahead and put on the other one and i'll be right back so i'm gonna grab freckles and noche and these are gonna be my main colors for there so starting off with freckles wait i'm just going to pop this so she took freckles and like a brush that looked like this and she is right in the center and then bring this out go ahead and just hold my eye <laughs> and so right in the center I'm grabbing now a flat defining brush. I'm going in with the color Noche. And I'm going to go as close as I can to my lash line with this color. I did wet the brush a tiny bit, but not... Okay, so she wet the brush. I'm going to spray with some setting spray because... So she gets it really close to that lash line. And she just wiggles it in. I've been loving that lavender eyeliner pencil. So I'm going to grab that. Ooh, okay, we'll use a baby blue eyeliner. That looks kind of nice. She grabs a light eyeliner. I don't have any like navy baby blue or lavender or anything like that. My waterline, I'm going to go in with this color called Deja Blue from Marc Jacobs. Normally, I like a black eyeliner, but for this look, I want my eyes to look a little more open. I'm going to pop this in there. So I'm going to take this one from Physicians Formula. It's called Champagne. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the inner part of my eyes and I want this area to really, really pop. Anytime I add color in here, whether it's yellow, orange, lavender, or any kind of like shimmery shade, I need it to really pop, 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 pop. I'm gonna be using a new highlighter for this and this is the Glaze Donut, which is part of Nick Tutorials and Ofra's new collaboration. I don't have that, so I have this. It's called Blinded by the Light from, um, Too Faced, it's pretty white. So. This is our second collaboration with them, but this color is just two day four, super gorgeous, so vibrant, just I'm about to glow on another level. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the inner part of my eye, picking up a small detailed brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this. So I have this one here that look, kind of looks like hers because it's small and pointy. See? Okay, so she just barely puts it in the inner corner, just right there. Ooh, yes. Okay, so it looks like she really built that up in the inner corner, even though she didn't show it. And then what she did was take like a brush that was like about this big, and she just went like that in the inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna come back to the bottom of my eyes in just a little bit, but now it's time to get into my face. And so, I'm um, starting off with some moisturizer using the H2O Oasis Hydrating Treatment. Have that moisturizer i'm gonna take some of this pep start hydro blur moisturizer put that on my face and then for a little bit of an extra glow i'm going to be using and i've been using this one lately the uh becca shimmery skin perfector so she used the becca shimmering skin perfector i don't have that i do have the giorgio armani fluid sheer which is similar i'm gonna take two pumps of that this is in the shade 10 she put that all over her face huh put this all over my face and then for my primer today, I'm going to be using Benefit's Professional Primer. It's oil-free, it's non-greasy, it leaves like a really nice silky finish. So I popped on just like a good piece of amount, and I'm adding this just to the area where I know I need primer, and I'm tapping. So she applies that into the inner part of her T-zone, and she taps that. Alright, so moving on to foundation and concealer. 
I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up. Again, we're gonna be using the Hourglass, the Hourglass Vanish Shape Foundation with my handy dandy Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, so I don't have any stick foundation at all. So I'm just gonna use liquid foundation. And what I'm gonna do is just apply the liquid foundation onto my face and then blend it out. So I'm using this Bare Minerals Fresh Face Liquid Foundation and this is the Made to Fit um, one and it does have my name on it. How cool is this? This is a custom foundation and this is my first time trying it out. So I guess we'll see what the shade looks like. I did get this sent to me for free from Influencers to try out. If you guys don't know what Influencer is, um, I will link it down below for you guys so that way you guys can check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and pump that on the back of my hand. I have no idea what kind of finish this has or anything, but we're going to do what she's doing. Kind of. So she applies it on her face and then uses a ginormous brush, buffing brush, I guess, to blend it out. So this is the closest brush that I have to the brush she was using. And with this foundation, what I like to do is just really pat the brush into the so skin. It's really it. just going to give you a more airbrushed, luminous finish. And I absolutely love the coverage on this foundation. I love the way it feels too. Um, this is the one foundation that I feel like my skin looks so luminous, so dewy and glowy. And it just looks more healthy. So I'm going to go ahead and this all over the skin. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and grab this little brush. This has been like something I've been doing lately. And I just like to buff it underneath of the eye. I'm trying to avoid wearing as much concealer like right here. I still love concealer. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But right here is where I always feel like I struggle sometimes. Okay, so it looks like she already put on concealer. She didn't show herself putting on concealer. And I don't own Tarte Shape Tape. I know. Shocker. So I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I don't know when she did this. I don't know. And then she uses like a little brush and blends out underneath. So in mix two highlights today, we're gonna go in with the glaze donut and then the profusion number two. I'm gonna use Max Whisper of Guilt. I'm gonna go ahead and just warm my face up with this. I'm gonna act like this is bronzer and literally add it all over the place. So starting with my forehead, pretty much adding it where all the light hits. I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna change this. So I don't have the brush she has, so I'm just using this brush here. It's kind of similar, except hers is like way bigger. And she's using it all over her face, like bronzer. Tap it across. So I am doing this before I do any kind of bronzer or blush because I really want my skin to glow. So I'm using the uh, Too Faced You Light Up My Life. This is where I guess people put bronzer, I don't know. I really want to focus on the highlight. Oh, this color. So then she's using the lighter shade. Ooh. Okay. As Sebastian would say, a little goes a long way. I don't even know who I am right now. Okay, so she put a lot, so I'm gonna put a lot. Am I cringing because I'm doing this without setting my face? Yes, yes, I totally am. Now with all this highlight, I'm snatched to three gods. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my skin up now. I'm gonna be using Too Faced's Dark Chocolate Bronzer. And I'm gonna be taking it with two different brushes, starting off first with this Morphe Big. So I'm gonna take this Tarte Hotel Eris Bronzer. And she uses like a really large brush. Fluffy brush. For bronzer, normally I like to use bigger brushes because I like it to be like an all over bronze. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dust this across. I'm gonna use this Morphe brush. And she just. Dust it across her face. I try to always bronze my neck because I'm a little lighter in this area. Also, one like that. Don't know what she's doing really. I'm now going to take in that Smith 118 brush and I'm just going to go along the cheeks. So, starting pretty much. So, I'm taking this um, brush here and she uses it, I guess, to contour. I'm right back in here. Working my way back and then working my way forward. And just, you know, try to get that forehead. Always try to not have that little. And she also put in her forehead. Oh my god, this looks horrible. I'm gonna go ahead and bake a little bit. I'm grabbing some of this Laura Mercier Transition Powder. I'm gonna go ahead and tap this underneath my eyes. So I don't know if her sponge is wet or dry, but mine is gonna be dry. And she used the Laura Mercier powder. I'm using the Cody Airspun powder. So I'm using the tip of my Real Technique sponge because I don't have a beauty blender. I like to tap this right there and then that's it no more than that okay, so she put it along the, the nose and under her eyes i'm 
Okay, maybe a little bit on the sides. <laughs> in my mouth. I'm going to bake for a little I am going to go ahead and let this sit for like about five minutes and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so let's see what she does. I'm going to go ahead and dust off the baking and I'm just quietly just going to tap it. When it comes to dusting it off, I don't necessarily like to lift everything off. I like to kind of just place it in there but you know remove the excess off so you don't have like too much of a of a strong uh noticeable film of powder just chilling on your face you kind of just want to press it into the skin i'm going to use that brush that we used earlier for bronzer this is usually what i use to take off my baking powder anyway so what she does is she taps it in to the face that highlight in that area is intense. So for this look, we're going to top it off with a nude lipstick just because my eyes are pretty intense and in the picture I did do a nude shade. However, the time with the, uh, the, pitch, the lip I used at the shoot was a Make It Forever lip that I don't have on me. So I substituted it for a different lip, which I'm actually excited about because I just got this in the mail. This is the new uh, Balmain L'Oreal lipstick oh, and they God, created so nine beautiful shades. One of the shades, this one is called Urban Sapphire and it is up my alley, very nude. So I'm using a Max Viva Glam 2, which is a nice nude, it's as nude as I have. Okay, so then she took the lip liner and put it on the top. So I do have the curvy lip liner, so I'm going to go ahead and apply that on top. I'm going to go ahead and brush. Oh no! Okay, so she didn't show herself putting on the lip gloss, but I assume she put it on on top. And I do have the curvy lip gloss on top, I mean, as well. Now I'm putting that on top. And then she put on some setting spray, so I'm using my Ulfra setting spray. I know YouTubers tend to be excessive with their setting spray, so I put a lot on. Alright guys, here is the finished look on this makeup tutorial. So, there we go. This is the finished look. This was so much fun to do. She definitely doesn't do her makeup the way that I do. I do it a lot different and I'm actually pretty impressed with how this came out to be quite honest. I didn't think it was going to come out this good but it came out pretty good. I think everything came out pretty good. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and as always if you guys have any requests leave them down below in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then.